Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. I just wanted to talk to you first about um, some new products that we've got in on the website. We've got some lovely watercolour range in. And this is a Van Gogh range, which is a really beautiful quality. So there's 10 tubes in this one. We also do a box of 20 different colours. We've got some superb brushes here as well. These are specifically watercolour brushes. And a good brush is always worth having. It makes such a difference. And we've got some fabulous pencils. These are pastel pencils. And it's a lovely colour range and the pastels are wonderful to work with. They're so soft. So I'll be using some of these in uh, future demonstrations as well. And we've got some watercolour card as well, specifically for watercolour painting. So this is a hot pressed watercolour card. Um, there is also a cold press watercolour card out there, but that's a lot more, uh, it's got a lot more texture to it. And because we want to stamp onto this card, we want something with not much texture at all for it to come out sharp. So I've got a piece of card here and we've got our multifarious. Now the difference being this is silky, silky smooth and this, although it's smooth, is definitely a rougher surface for watercolour paints. And we're going to be having a dabble with that a little later on. Okay guys, so now we're going to move on to create a card using these products. So I've cut our watercolour card down to, it's about an A6 size. And I've got three containers of water here. It's always good to have more than one so that you can always keep your brush clean. Watercolour painting, you only need a very small amount of colour. You're working a lot with water. So it is important to keep your brush clean as much as you can. We've got a little palette here with my 10 colours from the box set that I showed you. And I've got a plate here just in case I wanted to do a little bit of mixing of colours as well. So we're going to be using our two new stamps today. Um, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to just put a bit of a wash on the background. So I'm just making a sort of square shape of water. This is so that when I add colour, it just bleeds out up to the edge. So I'm using a tiniest amount of yellow. It's always worth starting with less and building the colour up gradually. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of orange. It's worth having a piece of kitchen roll at hand as well. Um, if you find that the paint is pooling anywhere, then you can just pick the colour back up with a dry brush. So just have your kitchen towel at hand. 
Okay, so I'm going to just mix a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. And that gives us a nice purple. Again, I'm watering it right down. And I'm just going to start adding a little bit of colour. And you can see how it just spreads to the edge. And now I'm just adding a little bit of blue. All I'm doing is just dotting small amounts of colour and then let the watercolour do, do its own thing and spread and you can get some fabulous effects even if you've got a smaller brush and you just dotted some water you can see now it's starting to just do its own thing. And you, you know, you can leave that there. We want to add more colour on after we've stamped the image. So I'm going to dry that off now. Always make sure that it is completely dry before we stamp onto it and that is the key to getting a much nicer, sharper stamped image. So let's take our mushroom and we're going to ink up in the Nocturne. Now remembering that this is watercolour card so it's going to react differently. So let's paste, place that down around about there and give it a good press. I'll just let it rest for a while. As I say this card has got a slight roughness to it so just treat it a little bit differently. If you take your time you will get a good image. There we go. Okay so I've got some foliage here and I'm going to ink this up in the twilight I am going to stamp off and then press down and again Press down. And there we go. Okay, so if we wanted to add a little bit more colour to this now, I'm going to first of all mix a colour that I want to work with. So let's make a little bit of a, um, let's do a jade colour. only need a small amount. I'm going to use some clean water and I'm just going to go around the edge of the mushroom just dampen that down And then let 
let's pick that jade up and go around the edge and you can see it will just bleed out And I'll just clean that brush and then dry this area down. It's all about building layers with watercolour, but it's allowing the watercolour just to do its own thing. Okay, so adding a little bit of water again just to the underneath of the mushroom this time I want a little bit more depth here so I'm going to go with the grey and a very small amount of blue as well it doesn't have to be these colours And I'm just adding a little bit underneath the mushroom. And again, if it pulls anywhere, just wipe your brush clean and gather it back up. And now I want to ground the mushroom so again I'm going to just first of all add the water and then add the colour Okay, let's dry that off. And now we're going to add a few, um, a bit of red to the spots on the mushroom. So let's pick up again. We're just really watering down that red so much you can always tell a good brush when you um, paint with it because it holds a lot of water So we'll dry that off for the last time now. Let's use a little bit of green.
Okay. And then lastly, we're going to use uh, the Posca pen. So I've got the yellow here. I'm just going to dot inside the pastels that I've used. And let's go with a little bit of whoop, a little bit of orange as well. So there we have a sort of a, a very simple card. Um, using the watercolour. It just gives you a total different effect and you really do get lost and absorbed into painting. Well I hope it's inspired you to have a go. So um, it's certainly, I'm finding it so much fun, um, so much enjoyment. It just really does take you out of yourself painting. So you take care guys and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.